and clothing our house we all need a house to live in our house keeps us safe from heat cold wind and rain it also protects us from animals and thieves therefore one should build a strong house houses are mostly built with bricks stones cement or steel the walls and the roofs of a house are usually made of stones or bricks and later it is plastered with cement and paints the doors and windows are made of wood glass or metal glass helps to let sunlight in floors are usually made up of cement marble tiles or wood there are people who study how to make a house look beautiful from inside they design the furniture the color of the walls curtains etc these people are called the interior designers a good house a good house should have many windows to let sunlight and fresh air in it should have open spaces like balconies and verandas to get sunlight and fresh air windows should be fitted with grills for safety and with wire meshes to keep away flies and mosquitoes the entrance door should be strong with a proper latch and a pep hole a good house should have fresh water supply and a proper electric connection It should also have a proper drainage system. Plants should be grown around the house. Care of the house. The house should be kept clean and tidy. You should also help your parents in keeping your house clean. The kitchen platform, sink bathrooms, toilets and wash basins should be washed daily bed sheets should be washed regularly garbage bins should be covered and it should not be thrown in the house Water should not be allowed to collect around the house as mosquitoes breed in a stagnant water causing diseases like malaria and dengue. Clothing. We wear clothes to protect our body and to protect us from the sun, wind, rain, cold and dust. Earlier people used to wear clothes made up of leaves or animal skin. Today we wear clothes made up of cotton, silk, wool, nylon, plastic etc. fibers. Clothes are usually made from threads. To make threads we use very thin thread like materials called fibers these fibers are first spun into yarns or threads 
with the help of spindles or spi spinning wheels. The threads are then woven into cloth with the help of hand looms or weaving machines. There are two types of fibers. Fibers that we get from plants and animals are called natural fibers, whereas those produced in factories are called synthetic fibers. Some of the natural fibers are cotton, jute, wool, and silk. Cotton is collected from the hairy seeds of cotton plant. Jute is produced from the stem and outer skin of the jute plant. Wool is collected from the body hair of animals like sheep, goats and camels. Silk is collected from the cocoons of silkworms. Synthetic fibers. Some of the some of the synthetic fibers are nylon, terylene, rayon and polyester. Care of the clothes. A good soap or detergent should be used to wash clothes. Synthetic clothes should not be squeezed after rinsing. Woolen clothes should be kept out in the sun after the winter. Then they can be packed along with neem leaves or moth balls. Importance of clean clothes We should always wear clean clothes. Dirty clothes can cause skin diseases. We should not lend or borrow clothes as infections of one person can be passed on to another person by sharing clothes.